Hey, high levelers, Chad Gray here, and today we are going to be doing a quick video on how to solve a apparently pretty big issue uh, that people are having with surveys and forms. Uh, I just found out about it, so I figured I'd make this quick video uh, help you guys solve that. So, uh, the the issue that people are having is the autocomplete. Uh, on the surveys and forms, getting it to populate. Um, so I just created a code for that, and uh, I'm just going to give it to you guys. Uh, so it should be in the description of the video, as well as um, where you're going to need to go to get a Google API key. Uh, so the first step, and I'm just going to start creating a form while we're doing this. The first step is going to be to get a Google Maps developer API key. And I will put the link to where you can get one of those in the description of the video as well. Um, you can go get one, and then once you're done with that, you can uh, move on to the next step in the video here, which will be um, creating this form and adding uh, the code that we need to make this whole thing work. So as you can see, pretty typical uh, address slide on a, on a survey. This will work on either a survey or a form. I'm just gonna save this here. Okay, um, and what would typically happen on this form if we were to like, let's say, launch this now, right? If I tried to fill this in, um, I'm going to have to actually type each one of these fields, right? Uh, it's not going to fill in for me, right? And so what this does is it actually leads to less conversions because customers have to do more work. Uh, there's friction right? Uh, and so you won't get as many conversions. So what we're going to do is just add a little script that's going to fix that for you. And basically all you're going to have to do is take one of these HTML blocks. You're just going to drag that over here. And then you're going to click in this little area and you'll see an edit button pop up over here. You'll click over here and you're just going to go ahead and paste the script that I gave you guys in this little um, block here. And then on Line six, you'll see your API key here, no parentheses, right? And what you're going to do there is you're going to take your API key, which I'm going to grab mine right now, and I'm going to block this part out because I don't watch you guys use my API key, no offense. Um, so I'll block that part out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and paste over. So I'm going to copy this whole part with the parentheses included, and I'm going to paste over that. And then I'm going to click Yes, Save. Okay, and now that we have this script added here, we can go ahead and save this again. Save. All right, and then we'll click preview again. And if we type in an address, as you can see, all the fields filled in here, right? And then we would just click submit. Um, you know, if there's more fields, let me give you a better example. There's not really anything else going on on this one. Um, okay, so if you had more fields here, right, you had a full name, you got an email, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, we got all that now. Right, and I'm going to show you an issue um, with the codes that I had found out there. It was actually quite frustrating. Um, so when you went to launch these, right? Um, you could go like this and you could get this whole part to work. Um, a lot of times it wouldn't even fill in this other stuff, but you could get it to work. But then when you click next here, and then you would go back, that information has gone. And then when you would submit this to the high level, right? Only the part. So we're just going to put a fake number in there. Fake name. Okay. We're going to check to agree. But when this gets submitted now, nope, oh, knows it's not a real number. Okay. When this gets submitted now, and I go back to um, my CRM to see these, right? If I click in here, you can see that the street address, the full street address, the city, the state, and the postal code are all there, right? And um, yeah, not just a partial part, like, most of the codes out there, when you type just the part that they typed in, would be there. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I uh, hope that's really helpful for you guys.